Hey guys, quick little side note. I don't know what happened, but the audio sounds weird. And of course, there's no signal on my Elgato now how I record the videos. It was just a day full of troubleshooting and not fixing anything, thinking I fixed it, and then the issue would come back randomly. So many things are not working, and it's driving me insane. However, I hope you enjoy the episode regardless. Uh... Yeah, it's it's so frustrating. It really, really is. So I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, there's really nothing I can do because when I tested everything, it worked fine. And then I recorded this episode. You're looking at me from the next day now. And uh, just it decided to not work. I, I, I don't know. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. Uh, I did obviously record quite a few episodes in advance. I'm not sure when I last recorded, but I, I recorded a few in advance. And I do want to just remind myself of some of the comments um yeah obviously like we when we played the raiders the henry rugg stuff hadn't happened yet i clearly was not making light of that situation i know a lot of you guys were uh i just don't think it's funny man i think it really is really sad so that i think was fairly obvious like i've gotten so many comments on like any henry ruggs video that ever was posted on this channel it's like oh this didn't age well it's like yeah you're a real fucking comedian dude uh, it's just, it's, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's classless, but obviously that was recorded in advance. Uh, there were also some audio and video issues. I know they weren't major. I've worked a lot with the editor Harrison to make those go away. So hopefully this video is immaculate or as good as it gets. Sometimes my face cam will be a little desynced as I go through. I don't think it's major. There's not really a whole lot I can do about it, but it might be like, a tad off or a tick off sometimes so sorry about that but uh what else just you know general comments about uh new equipment i don't really think i'm gonna give paul garrison long white arm sleeves i think it's it's fine how it is now what else <laughs> dude i was saying oh i'm gonna put rashad reese in it running back one so maybe we can trigger uh, a dev trade that's the only reason and then of course the entire comments are like nah it, Dude, what are you doing? DeAndre Swift should be RB1. I'm like, I'm only doing it for this one episode. I think I was pretty clear in that, but I suppose not. What else do I need to get caught up on? Uh, somebody posts the same comment about Eric Hudson as a speed rusher. It's like, yep, that's what I've been doing. So uh, there you go. I will change Rashad Reese to a receiver before Super Bowl week, if I remember, to hopefully try and trigger a dev trade upgrade for him at receiver. So that's a thing. And you guys seem to want the draft preview show again, so I will do that again as well. So those are the general housekeeping items out of the way, and let's go ahead and get into the episode. Regular season is over. Unfortunately, we are coming off a loss, but we do get Amani Oruwari, a returning from injury, tied the record for interceptions in a season with Dick Lane, Night Train Lane, both with 14, both on the Lions. And we have a press conference here. First time making the playoffs in Detroit Lions franchise history. So, man, I'd like to come out here and guarantee a win. Let's go out here with confidence. And Coach Dangus has asked me after the game. We never come to the stadium with a plan to lose. We'll show up. We'll be ready. And we're going to win the game and move on. Beat the Falcons to earn bonus staff points this week. And guaranteed or guaranteeing a win has fired up the falcons and they will have plus five break tackle and hit power i don't like that i don't like that at all but also they suck so we should be able to beat them uh <laughs> i didn't think they would get a bonus to all abilities matty ice matty ice here is a 72 overall but does have superstar dev there's no way he's gonna be able to push the football down the field 14 interceptions is a lot for a non-user controlled quarterback. And the Falcons defense is garbage. How do they make the playoffs? They allow a ton of yards in the air. So let's go ahead and like double dip on that. And we'll go throw deep. And we'll try to just torch the defense. And I guess we'll add the goal of two plus touchdown passes in there. And as you can see, we have the usual suspects in here for training need everybody to be healthy losing Amani Warawari was a big reason I think why we lost that last game hopefully everyone stays healthy and we can get through in the playoffs here having your starters is huge 
and having injuries can really, really, really be awful. And Deron Payne's going to miss this game. Our starting nose tackle has a high ankle sprain, and that is a big time loss. He's a big reason why our defensive line has been so good. Aleem McNeil's going to have to come in and play a really, really big role for us. First playoff berth in Detroit Lions franchise here on Madden 22 history. And Ali McNeil is just not the same player as Deron Payne, although his block shedding is higher than 80 right now. Tackling higher than 80. Strength is high. Ali McNeil might be able to get it done. So there is that. And then it's not really going to affect our rush D tack or affect our rush D tackles. We have Dorian Tompkins, we have Deshaun Hand, and I'm probably going to take Romeo Aquara off rush and duty. Eric Hudson's just been better. He does have 87 power moves, but when we see Eric Hudson play, he's significantly better. I think it's at speed. Uh, but you know what? No, we want him to be outside linebacker when we have multiple guys on the field. So Aquara is still going to be rush end, but not starting left outside linebacker. We'll leave Hudson there. Hudson's still going to play a lot. Okay, Frank Ragnow has got to be at center. Of course, we had the injury to JC Treader. He might be back at some point in the playoffs. And we have, what is it, Jamie Aldridge or Aldridge starting at left guard in the meantime. Okay, so we're going to upgrade Frank Ragnow. This is a long intro to this episode. I, I understand that. Let's do Agile. Try and make him a more well-rounded player. And I think I'll upgrade Quintus Cephas. I was going to let the CPU do it, but... Nah, we'll just do it ourselves. His speed is so bad. It just, that's such a big thing. That's the biggest reason why he doesn't play. His speed is just so terrible. And he does get open, does have good catching. So we're just going to go fully into that type of archetype. And we'll hop into the wild card game, man. We went 12 and 5. Did not end up getting a first round bye. Pretty devastating. But we do have home field advantage against Atlanta. They've got D Ford. They have three superstar X Factor players. Okay, uh, this could be a little bit more challenging than I initially thought. I am excited for our first playoff game. I mean, no bones about it. It's taken us a long time to get here. Two seasons of not making the playoffs. You know, we were the worst team in the league at one point. But to fight back here under Paul Garrison and the rest of the great players on this Lions team here, yeah, I am I am excited about it. I think our team has the makings of a potential Super Bowl team, clearly. And we got to go out and prove that today. And a big win over the Atlanta Falcons would, I think, you know, at least push us in the right direction. Now, Matt Ryan did throw for quite a few yards. Nearly 5,000 this season. But none of that matters now. Because he is facing a different type of defense. Let's get after it. Fill the run lanes, make tackles. Here we go, Deshaun Hand. As they have Gus Edwards as their starting running back. Bunch of good receiving options. Kyle Pitts is going to be a real problem. We're, we're going to need Richard Russell to take him out of the game. So we're going to go right to him. DJ Dickerson flying in, but the Falcons move the ball a little bit. And it's third and three. Getting Imani Warrior back means we can run a lot of press man. So we're going to try and do that. And there, uh, there was some type of confusion in the back end of the secondary, man. Brian Davis got torqued and Kyle Pitts has a touchdown. What was going on there? I know we had a safety blitz. They had four receivers. Five if you count the running back in there. And we had, including the safety, one, two, three, four, five, six defenders. How do we get torched right there? Oh, look at that freaking separate. I, there's some, I, I guess I was right in the route here as Brian Davis is trying to cover him. But that's... I, I'm, not, I'm not even... I'm not in the way. I'm not in the way. He went around towards the inside of the field for some reason instead of sticking on him. Probably my fault for triggering that terrible animation, but why does that happen? Touchdown, Kyle Pitts. And that is a brutal start to the game for us. I mean, it really doesn't get a whole lot worse than that. And we're going to start off by getting creative with our Swiss Army knife of a slot receiver that definitely doesn't get force-fed the ball. So Rashad Reese will take it, and look at that speed. Breaks the tackle as well, 
and picks up a first down. It's going to count as a reception, of course. It was a little nice little touch pass in there as DeAndre Swift is back to RB1. He is electric in this role and will look to unlock that superstar X-Factor ability today, but not a great run for him on first down. TJ Hawkinson wide open. They're going to basically give us the first down. Although he might have ended up a yard short. Nope, they're going to say he moves the chains. Okay. Yeah, they're just playing some pretty soft coverage. We're going to try and exploit that all day. First and 10. We're going to roll out with Garrison. Good speed from Ford. We're going to throw it away. I like Rashad Reese on the out, but they played it pretty well. He was left slot, and then I didn't really see anything open on the right side of the field or even coming across. So just decided to get rid of the football. Thought it was a smarter play than forcing something as I... I've been prone to do at times. We're going to throw it across the middle to TJ Hawkinson. Set us up with third and short. Do I feel confident in running right at Grady Jarrett? You know, not really, but we're going to do it anyway. And we got, we got weird blocks. Okay. Fourth and one from the 42. 59 yarder. Yeah, no thanks. It's four down territory. Fourth and one from Atlanta Falcon territory. We're going to come out in, at least initially in five wide just to see what they were going to look like. And then, of course, we can always change the formation. I think I want to pass, though. I think I want to pass. Just look for Godwin or Hawk short. Maybe even Richie Owens, worst case scenario. We're reading that right side of the field. Richie Owens, worst case scenario is open. That's kind of like a sick nickname for a player. Second and 10, though. As we're going to try to keep this drive alive. TJ Hawkinson just sit down and move up the field. Already maybe, what, three catches for him? Four catches? He's been a focal point of the offense early. Not exactly done a lot of running the ball, and we're not going to do that on third and four either. We're going to slant Godwin and hope TJ Hawkinson kind of clears out and throw underneath. Chris Godwin, first down. That, you know, DB crossing over number 30 just wasn't going to be aware of that. Like, previous... Crazy all Madden. Yeah, yeah, maybe they make a play, but clearly shouldn't have even known that the ball was in the air. Let's go ahead and let's get out of this and let's let's run the ball with Rashad Reese here. I just I get worried about Grady Jarrett and D Ford over on that side, especially. I mean, look at that play. Look at that play. Although Rashad Reese did lead the team in catches this year. TJ Hawkinson was right next to him, and we're going to throw to Rashad Reese. Ball came, you know, out a little bit late, and I think that limited how successful that play was going to be. Th that ball needs to get out earlier. We're going to run the ball with DeAndre Swift on third down. Need to follow Frank Rag now. And the blocking was good enough to get DeAndre Swift one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, and he just goes through him. First down, offense has struggled a little bit at times. You know, we did have a fourth down. But overall, I, I'm proud of how they've played so far, but it's only drive number one. And that's going to be nearly an interception. Didn't really even see him. Second and goal. I'm looking at Hawkinson. They played it. We're going to the flat. I need that to be roughing the passer. I need that to be roughing the passer. Holding. Oh, that's not ideal. It's going to be second and goal from the 18. Okay, not the worst thing. Not the worst thing. Because now we have a little bit more room to operate. Maybe can try Chris Godwin. Just right up the seam. Let's go underneath. Just trust the speed of Richie Owens. Good change of direction. And it will be slightly better than it would have been on that Chris Godwin completion. It'll be third and goal from the six. To go all this way only to settle for a field goal is not something I'm super excited to do. So let's go ahead and capitalize with a touchdown. That's open enough, right? Hawkinson! Wow, what a great play by the DB. I don't even know how he's in position to make that play. Really, really great effort. Thought it was open. Ball needs to come out maybe a little bit earlier, and we will have to settle for three points. A little bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing for sure. But, you know, better than getting no points, right? If we come down and score three points every single drive, no matter what, I think we're going to win the game. So, it's not the worst. They're going to throw. Oh, we're, we're trapped with Eric Hudson in the flat. Diving stop. Cameron Ford in there as well. Matt Ryan going to start the game 3 of 3 for 80 yards and a touchdown. 
Yeah, it's... It, man. That first touchdown is immensely frustrating. But I trust the defense. They've played well all year. So we'll just continue to uh, do what we do. That's going to be first down Atlanta. Run up the middle. And they just change directions. Okay. Sony Michelle back in Georgia. Of course, former Georgia Bulldog. He's not exactly the best running back on those teams. So I think he played with both DeAndre Swift and Nick Chubb. And uh, Evander Holyfield's kid, Elijah Holyfield. Who else? There might have been one more back that was on like those seven teams. I'm sure there was. I'm not sure the name's going to come to me. But that is the end of the first quarter. Atlanta up 7-3 to three over Detroit. You know, just uh, Atlanta capitalizing on an opportunity, and we did not. That's, that's really where this game is right now. It's certainly far from out of hand. So we just got to, you know, keep trying to play well as we switch on to Clemens and Matt Ryan manages to get that football away anyway. And that is the first incompletion for him on the game. And we're going to continue to try and send pressure out of man looks. Again, I trust this team. We don't want Brian Davis in man coverage. But the rest I'm pretty much comfortable with in Brian Davis. Or Brian Davis. Derek Davidson. Maybe with the pass breakup here. Here's Brian Davis. Kyle Pitts was, is the intended receiver on the play. I don't know what happened right there. I don't know if that clanked off his hands. I want to say that Derek Davidson made a play. So they're going to Cameron Ford. And he doesn't get the ball. Touchdown Atlanta. Landry. Is that Jarvis Landry? Oh my goodness. Cameron Ford going for the ball. Eagles logo there. That's cool. Oh, man. I thought this was going to be a takeaway. Cameron Ford just didn't come away with the football. How does that even happen? Atlanta, man, just capitalizing on these big plays so far. I thought for sure Cameron Ford was going to make a play on that. But it just goes through his hands and into the hands of Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry might have the strongest hands on the planet after that one. Going to go down 14-3. to Atlanta with all the momentum right now. But we've seen them blow leads before. Fresh set of downs. We need a touchdown on this drive for sure. I didn't even see that. Jeez. Okay. It's been a it's been a not so great start. We're gonna get it going though. Need to run the football a little bit more. Need to trust DeAndre Swift. Get that screen out there. Reese picks up three or four. Sets up third and seven. Okay. Yeah, not the best start. I like this dagger play, though. I think I was running this in a rebuild video. It's like TJ Hawkinson's wide open every time. Just, I didn't like this stuff, man. I needed to get that ball away to Hawkinson quickly. He may have been short of the first down, but it's better to throw away. All right. Clearly a little bit rusty, which is not what you want to be for the playoffs. Not at all. Over the middle and complete Richard Russell right there. It's going to be third and short for Atlanta. What do we want to do here? I think we want to rush five. And we just need really, really good play from our linebackers. Braxton Turner is going to have to make a play. Just live in the backfield. It's a stretch right. Dickerson blocked away. Walker makes the tackle. But that is a first down Atlanta. And again, they have all the momentum right now. Just a couple big plays has killed us. And we'll use her BJ Dickerson here. Try to get it in. Be over the middle. Got kind of out of position. They're taking a deep shot. That is open. Calvin Ridley, touchdown. Where Where is my secondary today? Where is my secondary? It's going to be 21-3 Atlanta. Here in the second quarter. Uh, it's been three huge plays. They don't they don't take time to score. They don't move the ball methodically down the field. Uh, this is they just score like that. Alright, we better shape up, man. Down 21 to 3 at home. This would be a brutal way to lose in our first ever playoff game. Of course, want to emphasize that this is not the Lions' first ever playoff game, clearly. 
But uh, it might as well be, right? The Lions haven't been in the playoffs in forever. I'm going to get it to Rashad Reese out of the backfield. And he's got speed for days. Rashad Reese, they're trying to take the football away, but he gets up to midfield. This offense just has to get going. I know the defense is going to step up. They've looked, yeah, you know, less than great here in half number one. There's a lot of football left to be played. We're going to try to get that ball in there. Richie Owens, sideline, toe drag, first down. That's the way you throw the ball, Paul. And I do want to run the ball with DeAndre Swift, but every time I call a run, they got stacked boxes. I mean, seven in the box here. It's not insane, right? But it is inherently more difficult to run the ball against big fronts versus throw the ball. Because, you know, you have more one-on-ones in the secondary. It's easier to make things happen. And on second and ten, I do like this look. A lot of space up the middle. And I love the speed of Rashad Reese. He's going to make this third and short. And what do I like here? I probably like inside zone. We just got, we got good spacing there. Need the offensive line to win their battles. And they didn't. I mean, ugh, Grady Jarrett just sheds, man. I got to stop running the ball. Have to. Have to. Uh, I know that sounds insane. And I said I wanted to run the ball more as we're going to settle for a field goal here. Here's a problem. Here's a problem. Grady Jarrett is a game wrecker. I cannot run the ball effectively and efficiently when Grady Jarrett's on the field. And he's going to be on the field every play. So we need to be pass first, run second. And that, you know, could mean audibling to a run if need be, like we did with Rashad Reese on second and long. And I wouldn't normally do that, as I always say. Um, but sometimes you got to. It worked out really well. But then we run the ball on third and short, and we don't get it. I feel confident in my receivers, right? I feel confident in the legs of Paul Garrison, if need be. We can't just feel forced to run the ball. Nice play. That's Romeo Aquara, I think. Yeah, certainly was. But we need to be pass first, run second. We're fighting back in this game. We're, we're still down by minimum two touchdowns. And that's with a two-point conversion. As down goes Matty Ice. It's Braxton Turner up the middle on the Mike Blitz. And that's going to force third and super long. As we're going to get Imani Warwari. Let's man him up. Let's man him up. Use Braxton Turner almost like a safety. They're going to check down. Brian Davis is there to wrap up. Nothing doing for Atlanta. Big sack there by Braxton Turner to force this punt, essentially. And, yeah, Matt Ryan has three touchdowns already on only eight passes. That's insane. 200 yards passing on only eight passes. It's not great, but we're going to figure it out. We're in the process of figuring it out. We need touchdowns. Tried to run the ball on first down to no avail. So we're going to throw to Rashad Reese there. He's just the guy. I know it's oh, more force feed Rashad Reese. You get in one of these in every series. Listen, I, get, I try to get the ball to the player who's open every time. <laughs> that is my offense, is get the ball to your best players. Hence why we get it to Ian Thomas. First down. Last play before the two-minute warning. We're going to check down there to DeAndre Swift. And I tried to juke, actually, but he did a little spin. We get it to Hawkinson there. That's going to be intercepted. Uh, I don't know why that's a bullet pass. I swear I didn't hold the button down. But uh, either way, probably not the best move. And that is a costly interception on what needed to be a really big drive for us. <laughs> okay, man. It's a screen. And it's intercepted by Deshaun Hand. This could be a thick six. Deshaun Hand goes all the way. Let's give him a hand. Round of applause. Deshaun Hand is single-handedly. That's an accident. But single-handedly getting us back in this game. And I got to stop doing offense for everybody else and do offense for me. Uh, however, I think we're going to score is how we're going to score. TJ Hawkinson, two-point conversion. We're taking over. That was the game-changing, huge, momentum-grabbing play that we needed. Only down by seven. There's a flag, and it's going to be a sack anyway. Guess who? Who has it been lately? It's been Eric Hudson. Defeats a hold, I want to say. Nah, maybe not. Uh, we're going to decline and make that third and 16. Eric Hudson did it by himself. Looked like it was uh, Romeo Aquara held on the other end. Where is Russ Clemens? Hold on. 
Hold the phone here. Just take just stay home. Good tackle. Timeout. I just tried to do timeout with the uh, button that it is on PS4. If you guys have not been watching my NCAA 14 Dynasty, it's basically like NCAA 22. The graphics are uh, like super HD and it's been completely remade. So I would highly recommend it. I don't get what's, what's happening here. Why is Russ Clemens not playing? He's not injured. I don't know why he wasn't in. I have no idea why. But uh, yeah, I, I think you guys would like that. It's going to be like the same idea. It's going to be a struggle of a series as well to start. And gradually over time, we'll get better. You know, a, a road to glory type series. So check it out. It's on the channel, Riverside Royals. I think you guys will like it if you like this. So check it out. But yeah, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. I Because I, the timeout is like this big pad on a PS5, but it's you know, um, the side button, like options or whatever on a, on PlayStation 4. Why is that ball where it is? I'm going to freak out. I need to focus. That place sucks. I'm going to stop calling it too. Uh, second and 10. We got a lot of crossing routes here. Hoping it's going to confuse the defense. And I just, again, I'm not, I'm not bullet passing it. I'm not holding it down. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't even remember the last time I threw two picks in a game. Again, I shouldn't have thrown the pass. I shouldn't have thrown the pass, but I did not bullet pass it. Down goes Matt Ryan again. It's Braxton Turner for a second time. Again, I need to turn on the fan. It's hot in here, dude. <laughs> it is hot in here. I'm trying to get out there. It's Jesus Christ. He's not even down. Matty Ice is going to throw it away. Okay. The second half is going to be a different story. I, I can tell you there were just, there was some rust, some really annoying things that happened in, in half one. I still think we can score 33 seconds left in two timeouts, by the way. It's going to be 24-14 Atlanta. We're just going to regroup. Refocus up, make some plays. A little drag to Richie Owens. It's not a great spin back. We're going to go hurry up here. Probably just take a shot. I mean, there's no point to try and use timeouts. We're not we're not going to score. There's just not enough time. Also, Rashad Reese, they changed my entire team, man. Anytime somebody gets injured, they're like, do you want to change everything? And I go, please don't. And they go, sorry. Rashad Reese is not the slot receiver for some reason. Why is he not in? What am I missing that he's not the slot receiver right now? Why would he not be on the field? Makes no sense to me. That's a lot of play actions. We're just going to take the yardage. All right. End of half one. Two interceptions for Paul Garrison. Both on like the same idea. I don't know how they were bullet passes. I really do not. And um, I want better blocking. We're going to run outside. And uh, continue to try and defend the deep pass. The defense, I'd like to say that they haven't been the problem. It's just been three weird like... Madden plays really but uh we're gonna be running out of time pretty shortly here we got 20 minutes of game time right second half starts now we start with the football if we do not score a touchdown on this drive I'm gonna be legitimately worried about this team I'm gonna be legitimately worried but uh, I do believe in our potential to score touchdowns as Richie Owens makes a really odd catch there because I didn't know whether an aggressive or possession catch let's go Richie and how do we get away from Grady Jarrett? You know what? We pitch the ball around him and say, he's not fast enough. He's not fast enough to do anything about this. Get out there, Ian. Good block. Good block. We'll take a first. Work and play action now. Ian Thomas in motion. And where do we go with the football? I just don't like, I don't like squaring that. We're going to take off with Garrison. Vanilla Vic action. He scrambles for seven. Second and three throw the check down how is that an interception how and how is that not a tackle it's gonna be a pick six <laughs> all right okay we're gonna be down by a lot man 31 14 uh, I gotta look at this again I just have to um so you can't see the actual interception yet thank great replay there
Uh, Rashad Reese certainly had positioning. I mean, certainly, right? And then what was his tackle? Like he dove him without even trying to make a tackle attempt? Oh, I mean, it's just animation-based crap. That's what Madden is now. This game's terrible. 31-14, our only touchdown of the game is a defensive touchdown by Deshaun Hand. And uh, unlike, as I said, the second half has been no different than the first. I've thrown three interceptions. That one, I know there will always be disagreements in that I'm just terrible, but I, I don't understand how that was an interception, let alone a pick six. I just don't understand it. But uh, that's why you guys watch, right? To make fun of me? It's great. Holy shit. Chris Godwin quickly. Maybe we can run the offense through him. Just get the ball to Chris Godwin. Man, our season looks like it's coming to an end way too quickly. TJ, open. Let's keep moving the football. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There's just not enough time to mess around. And I'm getting sacked. I, I, the buttons just don't pop up for who I'm supposed to throw to. Oh, man. I <sighs> this has been like this has been a struggle bus for me right now just lobbing up deep it's a major mistake nearly intercepted I need that to hit the ground I need that to hit the ground third and 15 anytime I call a screen it's a mistake because the screen just doesn't ever get open that's gonna be a pick god w what's happening man what is happening that that's not opening cover two The screen, I'm on it enough. Listen, uh, I've definitely played badly this game. Yeah, I mean, uh, certainly no denying it. But, uh, God, I feel like some of it has certainly been against me as well. Like the three touchdowns, for instance. It is second and 11, though. The game is not over. Can't even make a tackle on that. The game's not over. We just got to play better. There's, there's, a. Uh, there's maybe enough time to turn it around, but we need we need to play better. Have to play better. Just really nothing I can do on that. You got to take Kyle Pitts across the field at least a little bit there. Uh, I think we got to just come out in man coverage and man blitz until something happens. Somebody get after him! Okay. Get out with a running back, Brian Davis with the sack. That's what we need. We need plays that gain momentum. We're gonna get the football back. We sacked him four times. About 31 points already. Frustrating. Good speed from Reese here on the return. Just be faster. That's all I need you to do. Be faster than everybody else. I don't know why my playbook feels completely different than in in weeks past. I recognize like none of these plays. That's uh, also frustrating. We're gonna sit in and find Chris Godwin. Just drop it in there. Let's go, Chris. I said this comeback was gonna move through him. It's time to actually back that up. Let's try that. Just need guys to get open. That feels open enough. Rashad Reese for a few. Good timing over the middle. Tyrell Williams, that's a first down. We got to score quickly. I've been saying that for a while now, but it's, it's got to happen. I don't know the last time we actually ran the ball. It's probably not again after that. Godwin, make a play. Let's go, Chris. I mean, he beat his man like twice on the same route. The recovery speed of the all Madden CPU DB is unbelievable. But it will be a 10-point game here still in the third quarter. That's a, that's a really big touchdown by Chris Godwin. Really big touchdown. Needed that. Needed something to go our way. Needed it. Who wants to come out and make a play? It's an RPO. He just freaking glitched across the screen. Picked off a money Warrior. Matt Ryan tried to throw the slant. 
Oruwariye back and better than ever. Jumped right in front of Calvin Ridley. I said we need somebody to make a play, and somebody did. You cannot throw slants when Amani Oruwariye is in the vicinity. Huge interception. One of the final plays of the third quarter here. We're going to throw it up. Chris Godwin. End zone. Touchdown. We got it. It took one play. He didn't look open at first, and then I looked back, and he was wide open. Thankfully saw him, because that would have been a huge missed opportunity. He really just did not look close to open at first, but there was some type of miscommunication in the secondary. I thought that route was going to get passed off to safety. Safety didn't play it. Godwin, open, TD, right back in it. Poor Warrior in the zone, by the way. To run it, it's actually just play action. And it's a check down. Wow, that was super open. Good tackle, Davidson. I, I mean, I never even saw him get away. On a block and release, they had they had two routes. We locked them up, and then that third one came out of nowhere, and we just were not ready for that. A little check down. Okuda gets stiff armed, and they got blocking on the side. I mean, we we cannot wrap up Kyle Pitts. Matt Ryan all day throws end zone. Incomplete. Brian Davis had a hand on it too. Thought he would maybe make a play for once in his career uh, on the ball. I mean, he's gotten a couple sacks, right? But he doesn't. He doesn't do anything in that regard. And look at that play, Dorian Tompkins. Amazing play on third down. Why are they running in that spot? I'll never know. As they are going to take a field goal to go up 34-28. So they want to go up by six. They played to go up by six. They don't think we can score a touchdown. And they might be right. Rolling out with Garrison. Just throw it away! Throw it away! Touchdown, D Ford. It's amazing how fast the CPU can throw the ball away, and I can't. That's great. That's just so dumb. Two-point conversion, Atlanta. Oh, man, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that happened. Two-point good? Is that a fucking joke? Is that a joke, what just happened? Okay, yeah, this game's been predetermined. It's going to take a miracle to get back in it if that's going to happen every time. I mean, that's unreal, that sequence. It's unreal. That's open enough. Good ball. And we can't catch it. Three picks on this game, man. Four turnovers, two resulting in touchdowns on the same play. Third and one. It's a big one. I threw it too late. Interception. That's going to be the game more than likely. That, that one I accept full responsibility for. Uh, meant to do it. Just didn't do it on time. Andrew Soro on the field. Hopefully the last time he ever suits up for us. Tell you that much. Incomplete. That's big. I don't I don't want to say the game's over just yet. I know I did. But I'd like to believe that there's still a chance. Yeah, that that cannot be that oh man. Uh, the touch pass is over me. Or beyond infuriating. That that will be the game. Get this shit off my screen. We're at the point in the game where we uh, absolutely... Uh, I don't want any of this. I want strip ball, and I want aggressive tackling. We need a turnover. We need a turnover. It's the only thing that's going to keep us in the game. It really is the only thing. Please get him. Flag, if that's roughing the passer, I'm going to freak. Holding. Okay, we're going to decline that, of course, on the sack. Which we need that football to come out, by the way. It's going to be third and 23. Yeah, we need... I'm going to take Kyle Pitts myself. Just don't feel confident in the CPU covering him worth anything. Go to the flat! Oh my god! We were not supposed to win this game. Point blank. Plain and simple. How do you... How do you account for all the terrible plays made by the defense? I know on offense I was not good... 
very rusty after not playing for uh you know at least a week right but god man the defense didn't even give me a chance touchdown atl that is certainly the dagger in order to come back down 49 28 in three and a half minutes i don't know what has to happen but it's a lot She's gonna throw it deep. We had Hawkinson more open underneath. That's intercepted. Jump balls always are. Because <laughs> the DB is better at the ball in the air than the receiver is uh, nine times out of ten. That makes sense to me. That's a huge hit, dude. Look at that. He just broke three hit sticks in a row. <laughs> we need to hit stick because we need the ball. Yeah, you knew that was going to be a broken tackle. All right. I mean, that's pretty much the game, right? Anything else is uh, pretty unimportant. The fifth interception was whatever. Didn't matter. Threw one-on-one -on -one down the field to my best player uh, in Chris Godwin, and he was mossed by the DB somehow. Don't really understand that one. But, uh, yeah, you can't throw four, and I threw five because that one that we're discounting. But you can't throw four interceptions in a game and, and really expect to win. But uh, man, some of these uh, some of these Atlanta plays were extremely frustrating, to say the least. The off season will be streamed on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bangle per usual. I'm disappointed, right? I, I think that's obvious. Um, really shit the bed here. Uh, stuff happens out in the first round. Yeah, a pretty unbelievable game, in my opinion. Pretty unbelievable, just just everything. From from me throwing pick after pick, some of them warranted, some I really feel were not. Um, I think I think you could take back two, three, two two were bullet passes accidentally, where I am convinced I didn't hold the button down, yet they were bullet passed anyway. Maybe still were picks with touch passes, like I was trying to do, but I I don't know. Uh, really really frustrating game. I can't say that enough. Just a really frustrating game. Uh, this is not the way I wanted the season to end, obviously. It's, I don't have a lot to say about it. I mean, we had a chance in the third quarter, and then uh, uh, it fell apart in the fourth. Allowed 21. Final stats have Matt Ryan thrown for 335. Three touchdowns did have the two picks. Uh, one was a pick six by Deshaun Ann. The other one was a jump route by Imani Warwarrier. Threw five picks with uh, Paul Garrison really upsetting i found it really difficult to run the ball i only gave my running backs two or ten total attempts but uh clearly on two and a half and two yards per carry i didn't really feel like that was a viable way to move the football the fumble by paul garrison when i threw it away five seconds before contact was made and he fumbled anyway that was the real turning point of the second half and then uh receiving rishi owens at seven for 103 I don't even want to see Kyle Pitts, dude. Um, Chris Godwin, 5 for 110, two touchdowns. Great game from him, clearly. And then defensively, I, I don't even know what to, to say here. I mean, Brian Davis and Braxton Turner both had two sacks. Uh, it felt like Russ Clemens was never on the field. I don't really know what was going on with that. He was not injured, but didn't play. I, I don't really know. I don't know why that would be. I don't know why that would be. I didn't see him on the field once. He made two total tackles. We were without Deshaun or Deron Payne. Uh, weird game overall. I, I just, obviously, I'm I'm stammering and and kind of like waffling here, as they say. But it's just it's just a frustrating way to end the season. I uh, hated everything about that game. I know my performance certainly could have been a whole lot better. But uh, overall, man, that that just sucked a lot. Jamie Aldridge is revealed to have star dev, so we drafted a complete class of. Star Dev being the highest development trait. So between the hidden developments of of uh, Cameron Ford, corner, Brian Davis, safety, BJ Dickerson, safety, Jamie Allridge, uh, tackle, playing guard for us, right? Richie Owens was normal. Braxton Turner was normal. 
Every single player had star or worse development. Eric Hudson is in that same boat as well. Uh, Richard Russell's in that as well. Man, uh, that was a season, wasn't it? That was a season. 12 and 5, only to get crushed in the playoffs. God. Hopefully you learn not to fire up a team like that. Shut the fuck up. I'm... <laughs> Uh, it was a great learning lesson. I know I've been swearing a lot in this episode. I'm upset. I'm I'm really frustrated with how that game went. I really, really, really am. It was beyond frustrating. Duran Payne's back. Oh, he can play. Cool. It's just not the way I wanted the uh, the game to go. Obviously, it was a bad end of the season. I just uh just frustrated. Clearly. Moving Rashad Reese to receiver to see if there's some way we can get a dev trade upgrade. Um. I feel like it's easy to think that he was better than he was in terms of production, but I mean, he had almost 1,200 yards, right? Eight touchdowns. They're really solid numbers. I'm not sure that they're enough to get upgraded. He might. He might. I'm hoping that he does. But we shall see, won't we? JC Treader's back. Wow. Pro Bowl week. I don't even want to see this, man. Pro Bowl roster. Let's check it out. Paul Garrison made the Pro Bowl. We're only really looking at the left side. Paul Green in at fullback. Rashad Reese ended up making the Pro Bowl as a receiver, although he didn't as a running back. I can tell you, I, I looked at the like the development, whatever area or the progression. You make the Pro Bowl in like week 17 or week 18 now. He didn't make the Pro Bowl, but here he is as a Pro Bowler. I'm not sure how that's going to count. TJ Hawkinson was a pro bowler. On the offensive line, we have Frank Ragnow at center, even though he was not a center for most of the year. And that's it. Dorian Tompkins was a pro bowler. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else. No linebackers. We just didn't put up the tackle numbers. Russ Clemens made the pro bowl. Amani Urawarie. No corner other than him. So we're expecting to see Cameron Ford here who had six interceptions, which was second in the league, I believe. Don't know how he didn't make it. And um, that is it. I'm in Ross St. Brown as a punt returner. He's on the team. I, I can tell you he didn't return any punts. So I don't really know what that's about. But uh, we'll do the press conference here. Let's see, what do you get from coaching the Pro Bowl? Let's let's say coaching elite talent. I wonder if that's going to do anything. Five staff points? I don't know what cut loose would really do. And moment of truth for development trait upgrades in the Super Bowl. Don't see any upgrade players, so I'm a little bit concerned that we didn't get skill points. As Rashad Reese, as I thought, retains normal development. So that's a thing. One receiver of the year, by the way. Oh. A little surprising to see. Yet didn't go up in dev trait. Aren't you, like, guaranteed? Receiver of the year didn't go up. Paul Garrison. Now a superstar X-Factor. Need that deep accuracy to go. I mean, he had a, a brutal game, right? But it's fun to have these abilities now. Uh, let's Let's choose. Let's do set feet lead, maybe. Set feet lead. What else is there? Fearless could be nice to be immune to pressure. Maybe. I'm not sure about that. And then um, I think gunslinger is good, too, to get the football out a little bit faster. So that's a thing. And we're almost up to a 90. A little bit of ways to go. Um... You know what? I am going to give Rashad Reese star dev. I said I wasn't going to do this, right? But uh, the fact that he won receiver of the year and didn't go up, I think it's... I think you're, like, guaranteed to go up in dev trait if you win an award like that. And he didn't. So I think it just bugged with the position chain. So I am going to give him star dev. You guys can stop asking for that now. Uh, yeah, he, he clearly deserved it. And the game is just uh, a little broken. So that is what it is. And then defensively, do we see any dev trait changes? Cameron Ford up to superstar. Absolutely love to see that. 
I mean, that is awesome. That is awesome. He should be amazing on the other side now. He should be amazing. Super happy about that. That is awesome. Um, and no other changes as far as I can tell. I think the rest all stay the same. But yeah, Cameron Ford going up to Superstar. I am super happy about that. Russ Clemens, I'm a little bit surprised, did not go up. Considering how great his year was. He put up 14 and a half sacks. I guess it's not like amazing, amazing. But that's a really, really good year. It did not get upgraded. But okay. Cameron Ford up to Superstar. And we got Rashad Reese to star now. So hopefully you guys are happy about that. Some people are going to be annoyed that I did that. Um, you're going to have to get over it, right? That's just kind of what's going to have to happen. And the 2023 season recap has Nick Chubb winning MVP. Amani Warawari, A1 Defensive Player of the Year. Aaron Kelly, the Vikings player, wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. And Aaron Jones of the Bucks wins Defensive Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say it enough, man. I'm just uh, really devastated with how this season ended. Uh, obviously not the way I wanted to play and go out, but, you know, just gives me something to look forward to in season number four, chasing that first playoff win. So that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. These are the players we have to make decisions on. And some big ones in there. Jason Vrett, who we signed midseason, I can tell you, is gone. Andrew Soros in here. John Pinasini's in here. Ian Thomas, even. Julian Okwara, Alex Anzalone, Tracy Walker, Quintess Cephas. Guys that really were big in Season 1 and Season 2. And by big, I mean they play. They were forced to. Jonah Jackson. Tyrell Crosby, even. And then Jeff Okuda. Romeo Aquara, DeAndre Swift. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Make sure to follow on Twitter. Make sure to follow my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Bengal. Link is in the description. Yeah, I, like I know, I know how this this is going to be perceived. Uh, it's going to be tough, right? But uh, here's to season four, 2024, trying to win it all. And uh, please watch Riverside Royals Dynasty. <laughs> See you in the next one. Take it easy. Since ain't I hit at the park, Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Play with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.